are responsible lenders to innovate and create quality products. I encourage all of our leaders in Congress to work together to pass the Small Business Lending Disclosure and Broker Regulation Act of 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Urrutia. Ms. Sharing, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, thank you. Chairwoman Velasquez, Ranking Member Shabbat, and distinguished members of the committee, thank you for inviting me to speak with you today about the lack of transparency in small business lending and the urgent need to provide entrepreneurs with the information they need to make informed decisions. My name is Yanki Shering, and I'm the Executive Director of the Business Center for New Americans, a Treasury Certified Community Development Financial Institution and Small Business Administration micro lender and Community Advantage lender based in New York City. In addition to my role leading BCNA, I have also served on the board of the New York State CDFI Coalition since 2015. BCNA was founded to help hardworking immigrant and refugees pursue the American dream. Over two decades, we have provided financial counseling and loans to help clients to start or grow a business, buy a home or save for the future. BCNA serves exceptionally diverse clients. Our micro and small business clients range from the street vendor who comes in once a year to borrow $500 to fund his inventory of roses for Valentine's Day to the Delhi owner operating six grocery store 80 employees. Since we were founded, BCNA has made over $33 million in micro and small business loans and provided training and advice to over 10,000 businesses. One of those businesses is Hort Knit, whose owner, Vladimir Tirokin, produces knitted garments for New York design houses. Vlad was initially thrilled when he was approved for a $35,000 loan from an alternative fintech lender that he found online, but gradually realized to his horror that he was paying over 61% in annualized interest. When Vlad came to BCNA three years ago to ask us about a loan, part of which he would use to pay off that high interest loan, we were shocked to learn that he was also required to pay the full amount of interest and fees, even if he was able to prepay the loan, something he didn't understand when he signed off for the loan. We are happy to have been able to help him with financing that loan and many more for affordable terms that are transparent and fair. Unfortunately, now more than ever, small businesses are suffering from a lack of access to responsible, transparent credit. The Truth in Lending Act, originally passed in 1968, requires lenders to clarify, disclose their pricing and terms for consumer loans, but does not apply to financing for commercial loans. This means that small business owners like Vladimir are left to face a wild west of unregulated and increasingly complex financial products without any consistency in how the lenders explain or present their products to borrowers. We regularly assist clients who have encountered alternative loan products, such as merchant cash advances that they did not understand at times with dire consequences. Larger, more established businesses are able to hire attorneys and accountants to translate confusing term sheets. But as members of the committee know very well, the overwhelming majority of small and micro businesses don't have the funds for that level of legal assistance. This is why we are very happy to be here in today in support of Chairwoman Velasquez's recently introduced Small Business Lending Disclosure and and Broker Regulation Act, which will ensure that no small business is left behind and extend sensible disclosure protection to entrepreneurs nationwide. Thank you.